I've been waiting so long for these. Oh, I got more stuff. Look. <laughs> Yay! Okay, from now on, I'm gonna talk only electrical stuff. I'm gonna figure out how I make a solar roof panel thing on the roof. I'm gonna figure out the battery and all the electricity, all the electricity systems. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. I finally, finally finished the van. Yes! Okay. Inverter, cables, Ew. relay switch. Oh, stop! Actually, I just want to rush over the van now and get the entire electrical system in. But I thought this is a great opportunity to talk about an electrical system because I have all the components here. So yeah. Let's do that first. To begin with the solar panel, I chose the 100, what is it, 120 watts. It's 110 monocrystal, monocrystalline. There is another type, I don't know the difference. You should do that research, sure, for that. You can do two things, either a smart way or a dumb way. The smart way is to calculate your usage, check your electrical appliances, see how much they use. There's a formula down below, I'll link you to it. The second thing you can do, the dumb way, is to just go with the budget buy what you can buy for that budget and uh, take it from there. I chose the second option and I have a good feeling that this together with my battery and maybe I have to drive sometimes a little bit to get to relate. I think I have a fair chance of powering the fridge, the lights and my MacBook plus batteries and such. This thing is a charge controller. This goes between the solar panel and the battery and it's a little bit more expensive because this thing tends to be smart. I'll explain more later. This is my inverter. I chose to have an expensive one because it's a pure sin wave and I've read that you don't want a cheap one to power expensive stuff. This gives like a pure... I'll explain that later too. This is the relay switch. This goes between my starter battery and my secondary battery. Also, this one is really smart because it senses when I'm driving in the car and then it makes a connection so I'm powering my secondary battery. But when I stop driving, the voltage drops in the starter battery and this thing senses that so it breaks the connection. And now my secondary battery doesn't drain my starter battery. But also, more about this device later. These things are fuses. Uh, whenever you have an electrical system, you want to have fuses because if there is a fault, you want the circuit to break and not, I don't know the word, but short circuit. So we cut some main switches, not too interesting. I don't know what this is. Oh, there you go. It's for the solar panel to run through the roof. Hmm, neat. Last but not least, wires, connections, not too interesting, but important because the longer you run a cable, the higher the resistance, the higher the resistance, the bigger cable you need. I'm excited to get to work now. But before I go to work, I feel like I need to explain a little bit of how an electrical system works in a van. This is what I know. So here I have my 230 amps battery, and this is the starter battery. Now, to make a connection between the starter battery and my secondary battery, on this piece of wood, I'm gonna make a relay switch, a fuse, and a main switch for if I don't want a connection at all. Now, I'm not only gonna power my battery by using the starter battery, I'm also gonna use the solar panel. And to make a connection between my solar panel and the battery, I need a solar controller. And I'm gonna mount it together with another battery fuse and a main switch where if I want to cut off the entire battery. Now one thing hasn't arrived yet and that's the fuse box. And all a fuse box is is just a convenient way of holding your fuses together before you light your fridge, your 12 volt charger, your lights, basically everything you want to power with 12 volts. And also the inverter because the inverter takes the 12 volts from the battery and makes it to 20 volts. And from the 220 volts we can now power a MacBook and a camera. Sounds simple, eh? So, I got all my stuff, and this week I'm just gonna dedicate my time to getting the electrical system in the van. And I will keep pushing out videos. I'll start with the solar panel. But you will see me figure it out along the way. And uh, I hope you can learn from it. So, um, let's get to work. Ooh, 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 ooh.